Hi, and welcome to At Home Art Lessons with the Art Groupies. We're going to be working with this groupie, Persisting Priscilla. She is going to be inspired by ideas that she cares about, which is going to engage her, and she's also going to try her hardest. She's going to persist. So, we're going to be inspired by this guy, this Harlem Renaissance photographer, American photographer James Van Der Zee. James Van Der Zee. He liked to um, document or capture the middle class of the African Americans in, um, in the 1930s and document their life in Harlem. And this is a black and white photograph of a vintage car. We're going to be trying to show value with this piece. Value. Value is the illusion of form. And it's taking a color and using the brightness or lightness and the darkness of that color to show value. Um, we're going to be sticking in this family here, the gray, and using some whites and blacks to create value, to create the illusion of form. So James Van Der Zee, we're going to make a vintage car and we're going to be using different value tones of gray. We're going to start off with a, the simple geometric shape of a circle. You can either use a stencil or if you have a nice little cup. I'm also going to be using a penny to make my geometric shape the circle. This is going to be for my vintage cars tires. So I'm going to work at the bottom of the paper and try to make my car as long as I possibly can. So I'm going to use my marker and I'm going to trace around that circle. I'm going to also bring it over here for this front tire. Taking my time and tracing all the way around. I'm going to use that penny to trace and make the circle in the center for the middle of the tire. Same goes for this guy. I'm then going to make a horizontal line, a line that goes side to side, right down in here, in between both the tires. Now I know it's nice and straight because I'm lining it up with the edge of the paper. I'm going to go from side to side with that horizontal line. I'm then going to, on the front wheel, create a nice curved line for the front fender. So I'm going to start right here in the front, and I'm going to come down, nice little curved line, and I'm going to follow the leader to make that front fender. Now most of the cars kind of held their spare tire right on the side of the car, so we're going to go ahead and trace that shape one more time right there by the front fender again I'm going to use that penny for the middle of that tire I think I'm going to draw just one more circle free-handed right in the center there give a little bit more detail to my vintage car. All right, so now I'm going to start with the front of the car. And I'm going to draw a little baby vertical line. And then I'm going to make a nice long horizontal line again. 
and that's going to be for the hood of my car. I'm going to make another little vertical line. This is going to be for where the passengers sit in the cab of the car. So I have horizontal line and two vertical lines. And then I'm going to take this for the trunk. I'm going to come down and just do a nice little curved line. So voila. Now I'm going to start adding some detail to my car. I'm going to do a nice little triangle. This is for the light on the front of the car. It's where their headlights were, right there on the top front of the car. I'm also going to go ahead and put in my door. And I'm also going to add my window. So some rounded rectangles and squares. I'm then going to add some other geometric shapes here to create my designs for the front of the car. And now I'm going to start adding that value. I'm going to add the shadows and the highlights to my car to give it some form. Okay? So I'm going to first you can use either colored pencils in different shades of gray, white, and black, or you can use some pastels or crowns, whatever you have. I'm going to first start off with the darkest tone, which is going to be my black, and I'm going to go ahead and color my wheel. Some interesting facts about um, James Van Der Zee is he was born in 1886. 1886. He was born in Lenox, Massachusetts. He lived until 1983. So he was almost a hundred years old. So James Van Der Zee was an American photographer who captured life in Harlem in the 1930s. And he liked to take pictures of beautiful old vintage cars. He moved to Harlem with his father and his brother in 1906, Harlem, New York. He took on a job, um, some jobs as a waiter and also as an elevator operator. In 1915, he moved to Newark, New Jersey, and he got a job in a photo studio. He always had a love of photography, even when he was little. He only worked there for about a year, and then he moved back to Harlem and opened his own studio. Besides doing pictures of old cars, which at the time they weren't really old, um, he also did some portraits of celebrities. One in particular is Bojangles, Bill Robinson. He did some picture of him. So now I'm going to add the shadow. The shadow is the darkest of the color, which in this case we're doing some gray. And we're going to add this shadow around the areas where the light really isn't hitting. So the tires were definitely already black, and same with these little slits in the car they're normally black. So now we're going to add the shadows. The shadows would be down here under the fender, down here towards the bottom of the car. It would be black back here by the 
the trunk. So we're just going to add some shadows. Not many, just a little bit. Now the car is going to be gray. So we can add some of that gray tone in there over top of the black and it will do a nice job to blend it in. If you're using white paper, you can go ahead and just color that whole car in with that gray. I'm probably going to color it in also even though I have a, a gray piece of paper. It does a nice job of blending the colors in. So this is value. We use value as artists to try to show form, to make it seem like it's three-dimensional. Do a little bit in the window. So now we have the shadows done on our gray car. To show a little bit more contrast in our piece, we're now going to um, add some highlights, and we're going to do that with white. So with the white, where the light would be hitting the car is where I'm going to add my white. And again, if you do it over top of the gray, it's going to blend it, make it just a little bit nicer, really show that highlight. Voila, there is my car showing some value. My value is in the gray scale, and I'm trying to show form. So form is what we're trying to do here using our value scale. Again, we're working from the famous artist, James Van Der Zee. I hope you enjoyed creating your own vintage car. Thanks for joining me.